community. We turn now to New Center Maine's Chloe Tebow, who is live at the Farmington Fire Station with a look at how this incident ended up bringing safety changes statewide. Good morning, Chloe. Hi, Sean. Good morning. Yeah, the Farmington explosion may have happened a year ago, but it's had a lasting impact on Maine state law. The Maine State Fire Marshal's Office released a report in January saying a propane leak caused the explosion. That's because crews severed the propane line when they were drilling posts into the ground near the building about a week before the explosion happened. As a response to this incident, Representative Seth Berry of Bodenham introduced LD 1892 to make changes to Maine's dig safe law. He's the House chair of the legislature's Energy, Utilities and Technology Committee. Like every Mainer, um, my heart just went out to all the people who were affected and especially those injured or killed. It was a tragic, tragic event. And um, what immediately occurred to me is, oh my God, this may have been avoidable. Now, the bill Barry uh, passed, it was passed unanimously by the legislature and signed by Governor Janet Mills last March. And that was after fallen Captain Michael Bell's daughter testified in favor of it. Now, underground liquid propane lines, like the one that caused the Farmington explosion, must be regulated under dig safe. Barry says anyone who is planning to dig, even at their home, should call 811 to have someone come flag the locations of any lines. <laughs> Calling 811 could help prevent another incident like Farmington's explosion from happening, especially at other locations in Maine where tanks are much bigger than the one that was at the LEAP facility. It's frustrating um, that it took a disaster of this scale to uh, move the legislature to action, you know, but sometimes um, the experts warn us of things and we say, well, you know, there's never been a problem, so um, we're just going to do things the way we always have. And um, unfortunately, that that was true in this event. Now, Barry did note the excavator in Farmington did not call dig safe, so the new law may not have saved lives in that case. Still, he's hoping that the one year mark of this explosion will be a reminder to people to be aware of what's underground and to try to get it right. Live in Farmington this morning, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine.